Hello everybody and welcome to another video and in this video I want to talk to you about how to avoid getting moved on when wild camping. So this video is probably aimed at people new to wild camping or maybe even people that are thinking about going and doing it and quite a common feeling is fear. Fear that you're going to be found by some angry farmer and you're going to be told to get off the land and move on. That's actually a very normal feeling. Um, I remember feeling that quite strongly when I started wild camping a few years ago. Still get it a little bit actually. There are a few things that I put in place to overcome that and just to avoid the likelihood, not eliminate, but avoid being moved on. So firstly, it's all about the planning and the pitching. So planning the location where you're going to go, doing your homework, not camping in the middle of a farmer's field or something like that, thinking ahead. And when you get there, making sensible choices about where you're gonna put your shelter up. So for example, if I am near farmer's land, I make sure that I can't really see any buildings because if I can see them, then there's a good chance that they can see me. If I'm walking through some woods or a forest or something like that, then I stay away from the main path, get out into the woods and get into the spots where other people generally aren't walking and investigating. Nearly every wild camper will tell you to arrive late and leave early. So the ideal thing to do is to arrive not when it's dark, although you could do, I guess, but to arrive sort of at twilight. So most people have gone home by that time. Most people have called it a day. The families are packed, families are packed up and gone home. And it gives you the opportunity just to quietly get yourself ready with no distractions and no one taking an interest in you. Similarly, the next day, it's always best to pack up early, unless you're absolutely sure you're going to be okay. So I tend to pack everything up, get my tent down and do my breakfast after that. Occasionally I don't, but only if I'm absolutely certain. If someone does approach you, it could be a member of the public, a landowner, someone who's taken interest, then I would say be smart in what you say. So engage in conversation, don't act weird. Don't get annoyed, don't challenge them. Often, in my experience, people are just interested in what you're doing. People passing by, people have said, people have come up to me and, and they've said things like, oh, nice day for a camp or nice day for a brew there, mate. And I just agree and go, yeah, I don't, I don't try to apologize for it. I just act as normal as possible as if this is just what I do, which is kind of the case really. If it's a landowner or someone that is interested in why you're on private property or somewhere where you shouldn't be, then again, engage in conversation, listen to them. Um, I think just be honest and be smart in what you say. So show an interest for the area. You might want to talk about photography. Sometimes I've done that, you know, talk about photography, taking pictures, um, remarking about the weather, that kind of thing. Um, and see where you go from there. So I've been wild camping for three or four years now and only one time has someone taken a bit of an interest and this was an estate manager. So he wasn't the landowner, but he worked for, the, for some very rich English Lord who owned hundreds and hundreds of acres of land. And he was just seeing what we were up to and he didn't ask us to move on. He was just curious more than anything. And he actually said to us, I remember he said, I can see that you guys are okay. Um, you're not lighting fires, you know, you're sorted, you know what you're doing. So we just kind of listened to him. Um, we just gave him assurances that we were gonna be away in the morning and we had no intention of lighting fires and just showed a bit of respect and a bit of common sense really. Threw in a bit of humor, a few jokes, job done. If you do get asked to move on, then you just move on. That's the general rule of thumb. 
It's never happened to me in the time that I've been doing this, um, but there's no point, is there? There's no point in getting into an argument. Um, if they think that you're trespassing or they want to go down that route, then they could take it further. You need to make it like, easy for yourself and easy for them, and the chances are they might even change their mind. But if they're pretty adamant, then you just apologize and you pack up your gear and you move on. You might even say, you, you might even say, is it okay if I go first thing in the morning? They can only say no. To be honest, the reality of the situation is you're going to be absolutely fine. As I said, I've been doing this for three or four years now and only one time has someone approached me. And even then, they didn't make a big deal about it and they even popped back to say hello in the morning. So I hope that's useful guys, particularly if you're new to wild camping or it's something you've been a bit concerned about. Nothing to be ashamed of, it's a natural fear, uh, particularly in a country where we have very different wild camping rules to other parts of the world. So thank you very much for watching. Take care, if you like the video, do give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, you might wanna hit the subscribe button. And if you do that, don't forget the bell and you get your notifications for future uploads. So thanks very much. Take care everyone and I'll see you soon.